Hi guys, so as Russian soldiers are marching on Kiev and rockets are raining down on Ukrainian cities, Foreign Office Minister James Cleverly used the worst excuse possible when he appeared on LBC with Nick Ferrari to defend his party receiving millions of pounds from Russian individuals. This follows a request yesterday in the House of Commons to sanction not three but 35 Russian individuals by Leila Moran. Cleverly, who doesn't live up to his name, invoked Jeremy Corbyn as an excuse for Tory corruption. Wait till you hear this. As we're talking about funds, it was revealed that the Conservative Party has received almost £2 million in donations from Russia, what are called Russian-linked figures. What sort of smell does that have to you? Well, those uh, donations are completely legitimate. They are from uh, British nationals of uh, Russian birth. And we have donations from people born outside the UK uh, to all political parties in the UK. That is that is not. See, don't worry. E everyone is receiving Russian money. So don't don't focus on us. That's his argument, it seems. In itself, um, uh, there's nothing that in itself. There's nothing wrong with that. We Why would an oligarch give a lot of donors. money to the Conservative Party? Do you imagine, Minister? Why might he or she do that? Well, I imagine some of the people who have fled the oppressive regime of Vladimir Putin wanted to support a political party that at the time was trying to prevent Jeremy Corbyn from being uh, Prime Minister. Who? <laughs> what the f? Jeremy Corbyn. But I'm sorry, but Russian money has been flowing into the Conservative Party before Jeremy Corbyn was leader of the Labour Party and has been flowing into the Conservative Party after Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. So I'm sorry, that argument that, well, they, you know, they were worried about Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> but as I covered yesterday, one of the people who gave money to Boris Johnson, or the, I should say the Conservative Party, was the wife of a government minister, a Pu one of Putin's ministers, the wife of one of Putin's ministers. So why would somebody who's afraid of Putin give money to... Well, no, this obviously is not, it doesn't make sense because this person is not afraid of Putin. <laughs> been an apologist for the Putin regime who had refused to accept the reality. So Jeremy Corbyn is the apologist. Um, why did you sanction just three people and not 35 people? ...of the poisoning of British nationals by uh, Russian agents only a few years ago. There are lots of reasons why uh, people... Now, this is extremely dishonest. Uh, look, I'm no fan of Jeremy Corbyn. Did he, but he did not apologize for that. He, I think he was wrong in his approach, but he did not, he was not an apologist for Putin. Whether they be Russian, uh, dual, British dual nationals or, or people from any other uh, part uh, of the world originally, or those born and brought up in the UK, would want to support a political party that stood firm on the rule of law, stood firm would you give on the money back? Uh, holding Putin to account. What? There's no reason to. The, the money was completely legitimate. Um, and if you're suggesting... Do you enjoy benefiting longer... from Russian money? Does the party enjoy benefit? Not you personally. Does the Conservative Nick, Party enjoy benefit? Nick, if you're me? making a specific accusation, make the specific accusation, because otherwise the implication is that somehow um, uh, there's uh, there's an illegitimacy to uh, all Russians. I and just wonder wouldn't... how it's... No, it's not about all Russians. It's about individuals. People who have links to Putin giving money to the Conservative Party. That's the problem here. But I have a I have a problem with very rich people giving money to the Conservative Party in general. Obviously, James Cleverly doesn't have a problem with that. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's fine with any type of corruption, whether it's corruption from uh, people outside uh, the UK, inside the UK, it doesn't matter. For him, you know, it's all money and it's all favours. It doesn't matter who it's coming from. But he can't get away from the fact that there are people who are linked to Putin giving money to the Conservative Party. Now, why are those people giving money to the Conservative Party? What is the Conservative Party doing in return for them? You, there's some sort of favours being given in return, obviously. But what are they? And, of course, he's not going to give the money back because if he gave the money back, that would... Um, demonstrate that it was it shouldn't have been taken in the first place but he's not going to do that
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.